Bittersweet. The air's thick and pink over the M8 tonight, great plate glass slabs of it splintering the city from the outside in. Dozy headlight light and exhaust fumes crystallise in my eye line. Then I'm gone and they're not. This place gets itself into the pores of my face. Thick and grey, people say. I remember the way a smile splits my niece's face when she tells me it's opposite's day. I say, do not look around an unlike earth. Look through it like water. I am wading through spent cardboard firework tubes, slowly shedding the toes of my boots. Barely a body and only that. I'd like to move quickly through the city, souls gobbling up the pavement. I'd like to use my flesh and bones better. We're all vibrating slowly in the snow, from hand on phone to landed foot. These are not quite snowflakes, not sleet, but rain that has forgotten how to fall. I like whatever you order off the menu, and your sort code, the perfect combination, and your mismatched socks, simply exquisite, and... I don't know your password, but it's probably unbreakable. Even my things are better when they're yours. Old spoons and a topware I left in your room. I like the name of the place where you grew up. I like your toothbrush because you picked it. I like your phone case because you picked it. And those things are not as incidental as I can see a couple huddled over curries, forearms intertwined. Two bodies standing cheek close, upturned bicycle at their feet, with wheels spinning, spokes tenderly clicking, as if a crash, condensing skywards, became a kiss. This place is not the story of my life. It is one of the stories of one of my lives. It is sometimes this street. It is the shocked expression as your tongue curls in heat. On finding, sweet is bitter, bitter sweet.